Hey guys, my name is Demas Rizli and in this video I'm going to be talking about how you can improve the audio quality in your videos. So audio quality is one of the most important elements when making videos because bad audio can really deter or distract someone from watching your content. So to help with this, I'm going to be going through a checklist of what you should look out for when recording or editing voiceovers as well as when you're adding background music or sound effects to your social media videos. Microphone and recording setup. So first to improve your audio quality, you want to get a decent mic. Whether it is for recording voiceovers or talking to camera indoors or outdoors, there are good and affordable mics out there for different use cases. This is the setup I use for recording YouTube videos and voiceovers at home. It's a Blue Yeti Nano USB microphone with a pop filter attached to it to reduce the popping sounds when recording. When recording, you want to be quite close to the mic so there's less ambient noise in between. Adding and editing voiceovers. So for this, I'm just going to first cut a few clips of my Hong Kong trip together quickly and then we can talk about adding the voiceover. On the left here, there's the M and the S icons on the audio tracks. M stands for mute and S stands for solo, so you can either mute the track or isolate it. You can mute or solo more than one track at once as well. So here I'm just going to mute the original audio from the video clips for now. Alright, so now I've got my basic timeline. Next you want to set up the gain on your mic. This can either be done on the mic itself if there's a knob, or in the settings on the computer. For the mic I'm currently using, I need to go down to sound settings here on the bottom right, then choose your mic and then device properties under the input section. I usually go for around 85 to 90 so that the audio doesn't peak. You can test this out in Adobe Premiere Pro by right clicking this mic icon and then clicking voice over record settings. Change the mic to your own mic and then see how the bars are moving when you're talking. You want it to be around minus six maximum, meaning the loudest you're gonna speak at so adjust the gain accordingly. All right, so now let's record some audio. I've written up a bit of a script, so let's try this out. So this is me exploring Hong Kong. I'm always drawn towards urban environments and the incredibly dense city of Hong Kong fuels my passion for discovering new places and capturing architecture. The overall volume sounds okay to me because we previously already adjusted the gain. If for example the audio was too soft or too loud, you can adjust the gain after the fact in Adobe Premiere Pro by right clicking the audio track and then clicking audio gain. When this menu appears, you can set the gain to a high number or a low number or try the other options as well. First, let's just try 5 and see how that sounds. So this is me exploring Hong Kong. I'm always drawn towards urban environments and the incredibly dense city of Hong Kong fuels my passion for discovering new places and capturing architecture. That's definitely too loud and the audio is peaking as you can see from the meter here on the right. As I said before, you want to be around minus 6 maximum on this meter. So let's just put it back to where it was. Also, as another example, I'm just going to split this audio clip into three parts. Then you can select all of them and then adjust the gain of the clips all at once. This is handy if you've already done your cuts and want to adjust the gain later on. However, if you want to adjust a specific clip, you can do so using the levels function here in the effect controls tab. Alright, so next I'm just going to line up the voiceover to the video clips I've put in. I think it works best here at the back after the drone clip. So let's now add some background music. Adding background music. So for this, let's open up the essential sound window. Go up to the top to window and then click on essential sound. This window will appear on the right side with so many music options from Adobe Stock. You can literally click and preview any of them to see what works best for your videos as well as filtering by mood or genre as well. Very handy that this is built in into the program. So after listening to a few tracks, I think I like this one. So let's drag it onto the timeline. Next I'm going to find where the beat drops and line it up to where I start speaking. So now let's take a listen. So this is me exploring Hong Kong. I'm always drawn towards urban environments and the incredibly dense city of Hong Kong fuels my passion for discovering new places and capturing architecture. You can see that the audio is now too loud and peaking towards the end when I'm speaking, so let's see if we can make the background music quieter when the talking starts. So if you click on the audio clip for this song, this edit menu will appear on the essential sound panel. Next you want to turn on ducking. Click dialogue and then click generate keyframes. The AI will try to automatically find where the dialogue is and make it quieter. Let's see how it did. So this is me exploring Hong Kong. I'm always drawn towards urban environments and the incredibly dense city of Hong Kong fuels my passion for discovering new places and capturing architecture. Not bad I think, but we just need to extend the quiet part longer to the end. 
So click this drop down menu in the effect controls panel and then select these two keyframes and drag them all the way to the end. Finally, I might just drop the gain a little bit on the voiceover to make the audio less loud overall at the end. And there you go. Here's what we just made. So this is me exploring Hong Kong. I'm always drawn towards urban environments and the incredibly dense city of Hong Kong fuels my passion for discovering new places and capturing architecture. How to loop background music. All right, so the last thing we're gonna go through in this video is how to loop your background music. Sometimes when you make longer form videos, the background track you pick is much shorter than the actual video and you need to be able to loop the song to match the length of the video. So first, I'm just gonna pick a song from the Essential Sounds panel so I can show you how to loop the music. All right, so I've picked this song so now we just have to listen for any repeatable beat or rhythms. Maybe let's try here. So make a cut at this point and then duplicate the clip by dragging and holding onto the Alt or Option key. And let's try to find the matching point towards the beginning of the song. Let's try here and cut it. And now let's have a listen. Okay, so that's not sounding great. So let's look for another point. I think this one will work, so let's have a listen. There we go, it now loops seamlessly. You can then just find the same point at the end of the second clip, cut it again, and then you will have an endless track. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and can now sweeten your audio quality in your videos with social media. Make sure to check out the rest of the videos in this Premiere Pro for social media series and come say hello on my social channels too. See you in the next video.